Let's talk about sex. It's one of my favorite topics. Well, tonight we're screening that at Soho House for the React to Film series. And we're doing a Q&A with James Houston right after. Sex education is a way to prevent unwanted pregnancies, as well as STDs and AIDS. Sex education is free and should be taught in most public schools. I believe that this film is going to change the way you, as a parent, talk to your kids about sex. In Los Angeles, the county school district has so many pregnant teens, there are special high schools just for them. When we first had started, we did use condoms. And then, like, after a while, I guess we agreed not to use them. After we were, like, finished, I'd be like, oh, my god, man, why didn't I use it? <laughs> you know, like, now I got to worry, you know, if I'm going to get my period, you know, like, ah, next I, time. And then next time we'll come. And then you wouldn't use it. <laughs> Here I am with James. James Houston, who's the director of this film. He's a renowned fashion photographer. I had no idea that the government was actually spending billions of dollars on the abstinence only program and, and, and really not talking about choice and prevention instead of abstinence. Can you, can you talk a little bit more? Well, I think about abstinence is a, is a nice idea. Unfortunately, what was interesting too in the film is you see the, the power of the word abstinence and how even the way we identify with that word and the linguistics that we sort of came across, it really is so destructive from the gecko. Um, the whole idea about abstinence is, as I said, it's a nice idea if it really worked, but the problem is that what we're not acknowledging is the fact that 70% of teenagers actually have sex. So there's no opening to, for, those, for those individuals to even talk about prevention and how to protect yourself. I think the other powerful part of the film is the, 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 the attitude towards a condom. Oh, yeah. by that was such a shock. The, the youth of Western Europe versus the youth of America. Mm -hmm. And that's today, that isn't like, you know, 20 years ago, that's right now, and, and I think that's kind of terrifying. Do people talk about it? And it's out in the open? What about condoms? So, like, do all your friends, like, use condoms? Or have condom? Yeah, you get condoms for free, yeah, at high school, and then they teach you how to use it, and then you make fun of it with your friends, but knowing that everyone has one with them, or carrying one in the pockets or in a wallet, or it's not a taboo. If I met a guy and he had a condom in his wallet, I would probably um, not necessarily lose respect for him, but I would just have a completely different view of him. Like, it would really change what I thought about him. I found a condom in a guy's wallet. I would run. <laughs> well, I actually, coming in here, I didn't really know what was what this whole thing was going to be about. And um, now that I saw it, it was actually really helpful. And um, we, I know in our family, we don't really talk about it, but it should be something that we talk about. And I think after seeing this, it's going to be a lot easier. That's the thing, is it really? It, and that's, that's, no, but seriously, but you say thank you. That, that, honestly, guys, that is the answer. Because what's happening right now is that there's a huge lack of communication. And parents, I get it, because guess what? When we were young, we didn't have the internet. No. So for us to try and access like even a, like a, an inappropriate magazine or some pornography was a lot of work. Yeah. And the internet has changed the playing field. You have to ask yourself as a parent, do you want your kid learning about sexual pornography? Because, you know, pornography is, is funded by men you know, directed by men for men. You want to be there as a, as a foundation for your child to understand all the things around sexuality, like as you said, intimacy, all these other yeah. things from an early age. With React to Film, I want to expose you to important topics and then engage you in a dialogue with the director or the producer and ultimately inspire you to make a change in your life or the ones around you. Thank you.